Hi, I'm Shana with Adventures in Fluff, and today I'm going to be going through my newborn diaper stash review for part series, and today we're going to be doing pocket diapers. And just to give you a little bit of background before we get started, Lincoln was 8 pounds 4 ounces when he was born. We started cloth diapering at one week, still about 8 pounds 4 ounces, and these diapers lasted approximately until he was 2 months old at 13 and a half pounds. So, Starting off with the first diaper is the Happy Heinies Mini One Size Diaper. Now this is just a smaller version of their regular one size diaper and um, the way they do that is just the same as their one size diaper. This one is a snap down front. You can see these snaps right here. There's two rows of snaps on the front giving you three different sizes. Leaving it unsnapped like it is is the largest size that this diaper will get. Snapping it to the middle setting would give you a size medium and then all the way down to the bottom would give you the smallest setting. So this is as small as the Happy Heinies Mini One Size will get. It's an Applex diaper, so very easy on, very easy off which was great during the newborn stage when I was just starting out and very tired and um, not thinking quite straight. So very easy to use. I like the prints. A lot of different prints to choose from, a lot of different colors. So um, a lot to choose from as far as this diaper line. And it actually fits quite a long time. He is still wearing this diaper right now at just barely under 14 pounds. This one goes up to 50 pounds. 15 pound um, size range approximately. Um, opening up this diaper, you'll see that it has a micro fleece interior with a generous pocket opening. This diaper is actually um, extremely easy to stuff. I had no problems with it, and I think even men with larger hands would have no problem stuffing this diaper. It comes with two inserts. Right now I have it small insert stuffed inside of it, but it also comes with a slightly larger insert for when you have the diaper completely snapped down. So that is the Happy Heinies Mini One Size Diaper, and as far as how it worked for us, um, this is actually one of my favorites. Um, I use this one all the time, and it probably had maybe very few leaks maybe one blowout out of this diaper, but definitely no deal breakers uh, for the most part. It worked great um, all the time. So that is the Happy Heinies Mini One Size. The next diaper up is the Fuzzy Buns per Perfect Size in the Extra Small. And a lot of people recommended this diaper, so I definitely wanted to try it out. It's very cute. I love the cut of this diaper. A lot of bright, fun colors. And um, although no prints in this diaper, I still really like the look of them. Their diapers are snap closures, two snaps on each side, so a little bit more work than the all-in-one snaps that we saw yesterday. Um, this one has two snaps, those ones only have one on each side. But still very easy to apply and um, definitely not a deal breaker having two snaps. Very easy. Uh, one line of snaps along the front, so it gives you a couple different size settings. Because they have a second snap, you are going to have to at least snap that one in, which gives you um, your base for how big this diaper can get. So it only goes out one additional. So, just a little bit bigger than snapping it all the way in. Um, as far as the inside of this diaper, micro fleece, just like the last one, with a generous pocket opening. Now, although this opening is very large, the area between the legs is very tight, as well as um, the inside of the pull fabric is very grabby and sticky on this particular diaper. So I had an extremely hard time stuffing these diapers. Um, and I can't imagine how somebody with a larger hand would be able to do it. Just a very teeny diaper. So that was my main problem with this diaper. And um, 
It also did not fit Lincoln very well. We had a lot of leg gaps in this diaper. Lots of leaks. Almost every single time I used it, I ended up having leaks with this particular diaper. So, um, although it seemed to work for a lot of other people, got a lot of great reviews, I think it really depends on your baby's body type on how this diaper is going to work for you. Now, as far as the next diaper, this is also a Fuzzy Buns perfect size in extra small. And this one is their Applex version. You might not have seen their Applex version before. That's because it's the Kelly's Closet exclusive. And um, I just thought that this one was going to be a lot easier, so I definitely wanted to try it and compare the two. Now, after comparing it, I can definitely say that if I, if I was going to get one or the other, I'd be getting the Snap version. This Applex version curled after the first wash. You can kind of see it bending right there and it made it very hard to get it to secure to the diaper very uh, well. Actually the first time I tried it on I had a hard time getting it to stick at all. So I was not a fan of the Applex on this diaper. Um, it also comes in only limited colors. I think it comes in three different colors. A light green, light yellow, and a white. And, um, and then you always have this white border at the top. So not a lot of different looks on this diaper as well. It's also a little bit smaller than the Snap version. This one goes to about 10 pounds. This one goes to about 12 pounds. And you can kind of tell if you overlay them that the green diaper is a little bit wider in the crotch area than the um, light green diaper. But um, the same with the Snap diaper. I just had a lot of leaks with this diaper, could not get a good fit around the legs, and it definitely was not a favorite for us. Moving on to the next diaper are my Thirsty's Duo diapers. I got both the Applex version and the Snap version, and I just want to try them both out. I could have swore I would like the Applex version better, but um, I actually ended up liking the Snap version better. So um, I still use them both a lot and don't favor uh, one over the other. It's always uh, one of the first diapers that I grab are both these diapers right here. The Applex version, the only problem is after several washes, it did start fraying around the edges and lost a little bit of its grip. But um, after throwing it in the dryer, it, uh, it got its grip back. So. I learned it the hard way because the diaper actually fell off in one of my sleeper outfits for Lincoln and he ended up pooping over the entire interior of his outfit. So a gross way to realize that you need to throw these in the diaper in the dryer at least once a month. Otherwise I dry them um, on a hanging rack. These laundry tabs work pretty well. Um, I don't usually have these coming apart. It's a snap down rise on these diapers. It's actually a two part system. This is their size one on the Thirsty's Duo diaper, and it'll fit up to about 18 pounds. So Lincoln is definitely still using this diaper. He's, I think, on the middle rise as far as snaps right now, so he hasn't even gotten to the largest rise on these diapers. This diaper is micro fleece on the interior, and it has Thirsty's signature interior gussets on this diaper. I have never had a leak with this diaper. I have never had a blowout. This diaper is amazing in my eyes and uh, definitely one of my favorites. Another awesome feature about these diapers is it has openings on both sides. This pocket diaper, usually they'll just have one, but this one has openings on both, which makes it so I don't have to take out the insert after I take the diaper off, it'll agitate out in the wash. So awesome that I don't have to touch the icky insert before throwing it into my diaper pail. Um, as far as the insert goes, this is my favorite insert out of all my diapers right now. It has microfiber on one side, hemp on the other side. So the microfiber is going to be the first one that the urine hits. It's going to soak it up really fast and then any of the excess urine is going to go on to the hemp and soak up a whole bunch. So this is definitely one of my go-to nighttime diapers and I'll usually stick in one extra hemp insert just behind that. But um, really awesome insert. 
it snaps together on both sides so you can take them apart if you just want to use one or the other but um, I've never done that I always keep it together but it does keep it so um, while agitating in the wash it gets clean on both sides and dries a lot faster than if they would have sewn this together so definitely an awesome insert for an awesome diaper one of my favorites and we still use it today now a couple of diapers that I want to go over just very briefly because I'll probably do a full review on these later um, are some other diapers that I've been using in the newborn stage but they're one size diapers and um, so I just thought I'd let you know that there are some other options out there that might work as well these are soft bums echo Omni Omni is a pocket diaper slash all-in-two. You can use it either way. And the Echo is the all-in-two diaper, so just snap in inserts. The Echo is a little bit trimmer, so it's going to be a little bit better fitting on a newborn. And the Omni diaper is a little bit wider, so it's going to be a little bit bulkier. But I actually prefer the Omni just because um, I'm more of a pocket person and uh, it seems to give me a little bit more options so I can do it pocket or all in two. Uh, both of them are Applex, although I think they just came out with a snap version, so I'd be excited to try that out. But they definitely both fit a newborn great. These get extremely small on the legs, the, and um, they also get pretty small on the waist as well. It is going to be slightly bulkier than if you got a true newborn diaper, but if you're looking to save money and you just want to get a one-size diaper, this is one of the systems that will work um, early on. Another one-size diaper that you can use very early on is the Rumperoos one-size diaper. And the, way, the reason you can use this one so early is instead of having only a three snap-down, this one has a four snap-down. So it gives you four different sizes all the way up to an extra small which would be your newborn size setting. And this one also fit very well for a newborn. Slightly bulky, but you can tell that the leg holes are very small, so it's going to fit some chicken little legs. And um, the waist is also pretty small, especially for not having a crossover tab. Um, it fit pretty well. These diapers, just like the little Joey's, um, all in one that we saw last time have their signature interior gussets and uh, it just worked really well, a lot better than the little Joey's did for me and so if I was going to pick one or the other in the Rump Ruse line I'd definitely pick their one size um, to go with despite the fact that it's going to be kind of bulky in the beginning. still worked and I didn't have a lot of leaks. Um, Apple Cheeks was another option that I found that seemed to work in the beginning, it um, is a two-side system, so this one is more like the Thirsty's diaper, and it's a snap diaper. This one was okay. It was not my favorite to be used during the newborn stage. Um, it's kind of got a little bit awkward snapping, but um, it did work and uh, was part of our newborn stash. It's an envelope pocket diaper, so it has an opening in the center and um, that's where you can stuff your inserts in this diaper. A lot of cute prints and a lot of cute colors. So a couple other options that you might want to consider if you're looking for more of a one size system instead. So that's our newborn diaper stash in the pocket series and tomorrow I'm going to